delighted to be here with our Internet of Things event. Um, so without further ado, can I please ask you to join me in welcoming Professor Michel Döller. Thank you. All right, before we start, I want us to imagine the uh, Internet. What do we see? We see Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. We see a lot of things, but one thing we don't see anymore are Ethernet cables. And that's really amazing because the Internet itself has undergone a massive transformation the last 20 years from something which is truly infrastructure driven, things, servers, routers, to something which is opportunity, service and business driven. I'm a security consultant, so I come in to actually look at how companies are producing devices or looking to uh, perform due diligence on devices or even use them as part of a larger system. What are the security impacts of using these things? And of all the people who are blind, four in every five are blind from a condition that we've already got a cure or know how to prevent. And this is how we're teaching third year medical students at um, the medical school in Whitechapel how to do sutures wherever they are. So they come and collect a pack and then one surgeon can teach 120 people at a time. And they're able to ask questions and they will pop up on the glass uh, screen so that you can have that element of communication between student and educator. Um, so my name is Po, I work at Jared Air, I'm an engineer there and we're trying to create an intelligent glove that stabilizes hand tremors of Parkinson and essential tremor patients. To start with I'm going to use Internet of Things to change my slides. Uh, so this is use of just like a Apple Watch. It's a very very new industry, very complicated uh, and, and all together we can do uh, and deliver uh, this. But security should always be an enabler. It's always, I should say yes, and this is the cheapest, most effective way for you to do that. It's not easy. And, 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 and I think it's getting better and better. Supporting um, doctors in, in low and middle income countries to increase their capacity. So yeah, so our videos are being used and we're teaching suturing, for instance, remotely to third year medical students in parts of London, which is the UK's oldest medical school. But we are looking at creating our content to the Royal College of Surgeons. I think marketing, especially in, in the medical sector, is quite important because it's not like a consumer product that you can sell to anyone. So you need to make every, every patient that you want to potentially need to sell to at the end to be aware, to trust you and to, to make sure they know everything that you've been up to. My advice to people developing these kind of IoT devices is just start thinking about security early. There's nothing worse than trying to bring a product to market only to find out there's security issues at the last minute. The event well, was, was great, you know, and I, I got to meet, uh, I think, got to reassure a few uh, hardware, medical, uh, uh, future entrepreneurs. Tonight was fantastic, uh, the innovation forum was really interesting, the other speakers were incredibly engaging. Um, and yeah, no, I, I can't wait to come to the next one.